is Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison. Uh, Mr. Ellison, welcome back to Meet the Press. And I want to start with the issue of Thank you. of this outside instigators, I guess. We're trying to understand who are the people responsible for this violence. Uh, yourself, the governor of Minnesota has indicated that there is some domestic terrorists out there, perhaps some white supremacists. Bill Barr, the attorney general, uh, characterized the outside instigators this way. Let me play that bite for you and get you to respond. Take a listen. In many places, it appears the violence is planned, organized, and driven by anarchic and left extremist groups, far left extremist groups, using Antifa-like tactics, many of whom travel from outside the state to promote the violence. Now, it's our understanding, uh, Mr. Attorney General, that Uh, According to the Justice Department, they got that intelligence from state and local authorities. What do you you know about who's behind this? Well, here's what I know. Uh, There's been a lot of uh, videotape taken by demonstrators of people who are very suspicious, who who really did start uh, breaking windows, particularly at the auto zone. And there have been other, uh, you know, photographs and cars with, uh, you know, no license plates very suspicious behavior. But the real point is we do need to investigate it because, you know, the truth is nobody really knows. I've talked to people who are demonstrating. Some of them say they think some of those folks are from Minnesota. And they also say some people have come from out of town. What the exact political motivation is, is unclear at this point. We need to investigate it. But what I would say, though, particularly as it relates to Bill Barr and the president, is that they have not brought a single pattern in practice lawsuit uh, against a major municipality where there's systemic police uh, abuses in, in America. They have actually tried to walk back their involvement in key states where they existed uh, under the Obama administration. They have not moved forward when it comes to 21st century policing, which the Obama administration, administration started. So I think the federal government does have a role, but it needs to be constructing a better relationship between cities and the police departments that serve them and make an incendiary comments about uh, who's to blame here as opposed to actually investigating it isn't helpful. We need their help to be more constructive and less uh, assigning, you know, blame on on matters that actually we don't know the truth of yet. Do you um, do you want to see federal charges brought against these four police officers? Uh, And do you think that that will happen under this attorney general? Yes, I do. Uh, And I don't know. I hope so. I can tell you that our local U.S. attorney is a very constructive partner. Uh, Erica McDonald uh, is a Minnesotan. Uh, She's a serious uh, prosecutor and law enforcement person. And I do trust her. The folks she works for, I hope just leave her alone and let her do her job. Let me ask you um, what's your understanding of, of whether... The three other police officers, we heard the county attorney in Hennepin County said that he expected charges to be brought. Where are we on that? And what do you expect those charges to to be if they are brought? Well, you know, um, I know that we are early in the process, Chuck. I mean, at this point, uh, there is the the, the two charges of uh, of third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Uh, That complaint could well be amended. Uh, to include other additional charges or even higher charges. And the other individuals uh, are not out of the woods. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, In answer to your question of what charges, I don't know. I'd be speculating. It's not my case. uh, It's not my case. Uh, But, um, you know, certainly uh, aiding and abetting is a possibility. Um, And there are others as well. Uh, so I think that that is a that is something that is the uh, the county attorney, Mike Freeman, is is looking into now. Uh, and uh, we expect to hear something uh, in the you know fairly recent f- uh, near future. Big picture, uh, Mr. Attorney General, you know, a lot of Americans there's you know, Minnesota has the Minnesota nice image. Minnesota has an image of, you know, the, that and you're an African-American man that got elected statewide in Minnesota as attorney general as the state's chief law enforcement right. officer. For some people, they look at this and they're surprised. Tell us the story of Minneapolis and of Minnesota, why this shouldn't surprise people in your mind. 
Well, Minnesota is a is kind of a tale of two cities. It really is a beautiful, wonderful place. I love it here. I've raised all four of my kids here. There's so many great things about it, so many great people. And yet we have very stark disparities when it comes to African-Americans, health disparities in health care, health disparities in housing, health disparities when it comes to employment uh, and, 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 and disparities uh, all around. I mean, and I'll give you a quick example, about 70 some percent of Minnesotans own their own homes, but only about 27 percent of African-Americans do. Uh, African-Americans are in a, in a fragile economic position in this state and we need massive investment. And what I say to people is, look, if we can have some of the highest SAT scores in the country, if we can have some of the highest voting participation in the country, highest voter, uh, to home ownership in the country, the, for whites, we can do it for everyone. We just have to have the will to do it for everybody. And I think that this sad, tragic situation might give us the energy to really, really make those kind of commitments because they are absolutely needed. Uh, Keith Ellison, the uh, Democratic uh, elected attorney general of the state of Minnesota. I appreciate you coming on this morning. I know it's been a long week, long few months for everybody, frankly, in this country. Uh, but thanks for coming on and sharing your perspective with us. Hello from Washington. I'm Chuck Todd. And thanks for checking out the Meet the Press channel on YouTube. Click on the button down here to subscribe and click over here to watch the latest interviews, highlights and other digital exclusives.